Hi, I'm Sidney from Scrub Mess. Welcome to my channel. And yeah, uh, we are going to get started with this video. The first thing that I did uh, was put some gesso on the page because I was going to use texture texture paste, as you can see now. I mean, modeling paste. Isn't isn't it the same? So yeah, I used this stencil, and it's not meant to be for texture paste, uh, but it works. Just that the circles were a little bit, um, not bigger, but um, I don't know how to say it, but it, it still gave it a nice effect. So the next thing that I did was crunch some circles and with all the papers. And those papers are in my scrapbook kit that I made myself. So I will put you the link below if, if you want to see the how I make my own scrapbook kit. So I also paint some hearts and then I use these uh, watercolor pencils and I just use some water, um, use a brush and just like smooshing around all the paint and uh, kind of the pigment and it comes out very easily. And that's why you have to put gesso because if you don't put it, the, um, the water will be in the paper and with the gesso the water is kind of uh, on the paper and then it, it dries but it takes a while and yeah I use also a orange color and I use the pink one I don't like it very much because it, it doesn't give that nice effect it just mush a little bit I don't know the pigment is there strong enough I think but all the colors, or the rest of the colors are fine. And these watercolors, I found them in my in Home Depot, I think. And they are, I don't know, very easy to use. So, yeah, and I mean, it's not for like a professional coloring. And, but yeah, I, I use them for scrapbooking. You're not meant to do that with uh, watercolor pencils, but I did because I wanted a nice background, and then I wipe it, wipe it off with a uh, uh, a little bit a tissue, and yeah, it kind of soft a little bit, and I had to wait for it dries, but you don't have to see that. Then I start matting my photo in some paper, the same one that I use for punching all the hearts and the circles and stuff, and yeah, I am just matting the, the photo. Then I also use this paper that is from Amy Tangerine and I love those houses, I think they are very pretty. And also I mat this uh, with another paper from Amy Tangerine. You know, and like I said, uh, all these papers come from the kit that I made myself and I like the combination of all of them. And also this paper I made it myself, it was very easy to do. If you want the, um, the file, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I just had it. In, I just have it in my computer. But if you want me to share with you, uh, I will. Just let me know. And yeah, I'm still matting my photo. <laughs> so I also use this kind of tissue, uh, tissue paper. Uh, it's not like tissue paper. I don't know exactly what it is. It's like um, the paper that comes um, in the drying sketchbooks and for protecting the, the other page. I don't know how to explain it, but um, it doesn't matter. I think you get it. I hope so. And then I just stick all the circles that I punch out uh, a little bit earlier. And yeah, it, I just place them around. I didn't want to overthink this uh, step because I don't know if I would have changed everything and then I would uh, like go like oh no I don't like it there I will change it and it will have t took me a long time so I just I just go for it and then uh, I stick my little hearts that I also punch and it's it's a very easy layout to do because you don't have to overthink the things that you're doing. And I like it because it's very busy busy. 
and then uh, I will do my title and I use this AIM, I am collection stickers from the I am collection and actually I use the um, I don't I didn't use the M I use another letter because I don't have enough M's and I just add some tiny words stickers and I make uh, one a banner um, of is is this one? Yeah, I make this one a little banner, even if you can't see it very well. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment. Bye!